Meiosis is a type of reduction cell division that happens twice and produces four daughter cells from one parent cell with only half as many chromosomes as the parent cell. Meiosis in animals results in the formation of gametes, which is important for sexual reproduction in all eukaryotic cells. Reduction and rearrangement are accomplished in meiosis, which reduces the number of chromosome sets from diploid to haploid. Diploid is any cell with two number of chromosomes abbreviated 2N. A haploid cell is any cell containing a single chromosome set abbreviated N. Meiosis starts with interphase 1, which the chromosomes duplicate themselves and takes up the most part in meiosis. Prophase 1, with the chromosomes beginning to condense and crossing over begins. Crossing over is the exchange of corresponding segments of DNA strands by non-sister chromatids to increase variation. Homologous are in synaptis held together by proteins along their lengths but then ends in mid-prophase and the chromosomes move slightly apart. Each homologous pair has one or more schismata points where crossing over has occurred and homologs are still associated to cohesion between sister chromosomes. The centrosomes also moves spindle fiber starts forming, and the nuclear envelope disappears, just like in mitosis. Microtubes from one pole attach to kinetochores, the protein structures at the centimeters as they move towards the metal phase plate. Also during prophase 1, tetrads form. Metaphase begins with the pair of homologous chromosomes are arranging at the metaphase. Then, both chromatids of one homolog are attached to a kinetochore microtubule from one pole, and the other chromatid is attached to the opposite pole. Anaphase starts with a breakdown of protein for sister chromatin cohesion, and the two chromatids separate by going to opposite poles guided by the spindle. Telophase and cytokinesis happens when each half of the cell has a complete haploid set of a replicated chromosome. Cytokinesis usually occurs with telophase, forming two haploid daughter cells. This is the end of meiosis 1, which separates homologous chromosomes. Meiosis 2 separates sister chromatids from each other and ultimately leads to reduction and rearrangement. During prophase 2, a spindle forms and the chromosomes move to the metaphase plate. Metaphase starts when chromosomes are arranged on the plate, but because of crossing over in meiosis 1, the two chromatids of each chromosome are not identical. The kinetochore are attached to microtubes from each side. During anaphase 2, breakdown of proteins holding sister chromatids together at the centromere allows the chromatids to separate going opposite directions. Finally, telophase 2 and cytokinesis begins with the nuclei forming, the chromosomes decondensing, and the cell splitting in two. Meiosis results in division of one parent cell, each with the haploid set of unreplicated um, set of chromosomes. Each of those daughter cells are all different from each other, creating genetic variation. When there are defects in the meiotic process, disorders such as non-disunction can occur. This is when there is a failure of chromosome pairs to separate during cell division and results in the imbalance of chromosomes. Non-disunction could lead to diseases such as Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a disorder caused by having extra chromosomes. The effects it includes some handicapped abilities, physical growth, and facial appearance. So basically, people with this disease seem to have mild to moderate retardations. This can result from a defect in meiosis when the separation of chromosome fails. This is why having four daughter cells that are haploid is important. Parthenogenesis is a form of sexual reproduction in females, which means that no male is needed to fertilize the embryos. The offspring produced by parthenogenesis are always female in species that use the XY sex system. Like all asexual reproduction methods, parthenogenesis has the advantage of re reproducing without a male, but has few variation in its offspring. It is different from cloning because unlike cloning, which receives injection to fertilize the egg, parthenogenesis self-fertilizes because everything is in the egg itself.